Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash, <clears throat> and in double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to all you I came out there, pushing this word with all truth and sincerity, and to all you believers out there who believe it on the gospel. Hey, and it's the brother Kwara Abad from the gym at Houston Kim. And I uh, just want to go into a fairly quick lesson, man. You know, sitting here meditating on my little lunch break or whatever. And um, it's to the point that, you know, as we have, uh, you know, coming to the truth, you know, uh, you know, all, we all came into the truth at different times, you know, years ago, recently, 20 plus years, so on and so forth. You know, and hey, we still pushing. We got the apostles for the, hey, the, 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 the best example we can have on earth right now, man. You know, and it's to the point that everything, it ain't, it ain't guessing. We ain't guessing no more if we Israelites. Is, is it true? You know? And the point I want to make in this lesson is that, man, the Lord has brought us into this truth. You know, allow us to, you know, he allows us to keep pushing so far. And it's to the point we believe everything the Most High his, he said, we believe everything Yahweh Shai said. You know, hey, we understand the scriptures, we hope in it. You know, the promises, yeah, even the curses, we, hey, Lord, it's cool, we accept it. <laughs> like it said in Baruch, we acknowledge our sins, we acknowledge that. Everything the Most High is asking for, hey, we gladly do it. And like it says, uh, giving our bodies as a living sacrifice. And what I was just meditating on is, it's like, Lord, man, everything you said, we believe in. We trust in that. We truly believe it. I believe in your son, not Jesus, you know, not the Jesus image, you know, as the world pushed the son of God. But I truly believe in the real Yahweh Shai, his image. Can't wait to see him, you know, can't wait to see a miracle fall like King David. His mind was according to the heavenly father mind. Well, it's like the same thing, bro. We want everything the most high Yahweh and Yahweh Shai want. And to get to the point, what I was just thinking about is, man. If we have this faith, we got to be the elect, but there's only one thing that's truly standing in between uh, us and our salvation, and that's the Most High Yahweh. That's the Most High Yahweh, and why I say that is because, as I was just mentioning, everything so far we've been doing, we're believing in, that's the works of the elect. We've been doing what the elect supposed to be doing. We believe in what the elect supposed to believe, but ultimately, we don't know the end of our story, man. And that's the scary part about it. That's a fearful thing. That's what causes us to fear. That's what causes us to do the works, you know, to give diligence to make our calling election show because we don't know the most high mind at the end of the day. A good example is Peter. Peter, he he believed in what the Lord said. He was down for the Lord, riding for him. You know, he's Lord, I'm going to die for you. Yahweh Shai said, oh, yeah, you're going to die for me before the cock crowed thrice. You're going to deny me. The point was, Peter, he really was about that. But he didn't know what the Most High had in store for him. He didn't know the end of the story. Now, in that, in saying that, that's not nothing for us to be like, oh, my God. You know, because our expectation should be, our hope should be, of course, not doubt, but that the Heavenly Father brought us, in, us into this, you know, for the sole purpose of being saved, man. Not to bring us in, you know, to fall out, although that's going to happen to some people. But our faith is supposed to overpass that, man. Our hope that that expectation we have on the Lord's word should overpass doubt. You know? And again, if we continue to, if the Lord allow us, let me say that, if the Lord allow us to continue to believe in what we believe in and doing what we're doing, then we got to be at that number, man. But again, there's only one person stopping us, man. And that's that's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why the Lord said, wait upon him, man. You know? But again, let's let's get this real quick. And like, I, I ain't really got no precept. It was just something I was just meditating on, you know. But uh, let's get this real quick. It's Philippians 1. Because this ultimately our hope right here, man. Philippians 1. Because look, it's up to the... Hey, <laughs> let's just read this. But this is what we hope for. Philippians 1 and 3. It says, I thank my power upon every remembrance of you of you all, always in every prayer of mine, making requests with joy. Apostle Paul telling them, brothers, look, I'll be praying for y'all, brothers, man. Same thing we do. But it's the point. It says, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day 
until now. So think about it. when you came into the truth again, as I said earlier, we all came into the truth. Let me turn this card hot. Came into the truth as different time periods, right? Whether it was 30 years ago, 10 years ago, 15, 8, 5, 3, 4, 1. From the day we came into the truth until now, which is today, is October 5th, right? October 5th. So from that day until now, this is what we have to hope and believe in. It says, from for your fellowship in the gospel, from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing. So this is what we're supposed to have confidence in, what we're about to read next. It says, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which have begun a good work in you, will perform it until the day of Yahawashah Mashiach, man. And who have begun this good work in us? According to Ephesians 2, it said that the Heavenly Father have created us to do good works in Yahawashah. You see, let's get that real quick. It's Ephesians 2. And I'm going to go back to that Ephesians 2 and 10. It says, For we are his workmanship, created in Mashiach Yahawashah unto good works, man. The point is, if we doing this right now, then we got to have the faith that, man, the Lord brought us here to be of that number, not to, you know, fall out. Like Moses had that, that mindset. Once we left Egypt, you know, seen the plagues and all that, we got to the to the edge of the, to the sea. And Israel started complaining. Oh, Moses, we told you when we was in Egypt, you shouldn't bring us out here because all we're going to do is die. Might as well go back. Pharaoh and them coming. And what Moses said, look, man, you shut up. He said, look, hold your peace and watch the, the power of the Lord, man, how he deliver you. That's the mindset we have. Look, in other words, the Lord didn't get you this far, sent plays in Egypt, kept you from him, had you spoil Egyptians to bring you all the way out here to the edge of the water to let you die, man. Well, that's the, the hope for us, that the Lord ain't allow us to come into the truth, you know, grow in the knowledge, get the mysteries, you know, uh, have a love for the brethren. You see, coming into the faith of Yahweh Shai, just to fall out now again 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 it's, we understand it's gonna be some people who do you know it's gonna be some people who do but what the this this is what we gotta think uh this is what the lord said check this out this is how we gotta feel jeremiah 29 11 is the, the, the most high speaking he says for i know the thoughts that i think towards you self yahweh Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Hey, <laughs> as a spirit, we expect to get saved, right? We expect to get protected through the six troubles, right? And when at seventh, the missiles come, we expect to hear come up hither. Why? For the things that we are doing, you know? And the things that we are doing, man. So if we're doing what the Lord wants, what's pleasing to the Lord, then we expect to receive those promises. Now, although we gon' we know it, even Yahweh Shai said, coming into the truth, you're gonna have the good and the bad. You know? Good and the bad. Now I said the bad in Matthew 13 is gonna get casted away, but keep the good. We hope to be kept with the good, man. You know, because obviously it's something, hey, whether it was what the what the bad was doing wasn't pleasing to the Lord or faking a phone, or it's just the Lord ain't call him. Again, that's the fearful part of this truth. We ultimately don't know at the end of the day, but our actions gonna show the Lord, you know, uh, 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 praying to Him, you know, with faith when He put us through tests. That's gonna show the Lord uh, that we really want this, man. You know, but let's go back. Let me read this again, I like that Jeremiah twenty nine and uh, eleven. Right, Jeremiah twenty nine and eleven. Let me see what another translation say. I like how they be saying it sometimes. And we can start to wind it down. You know, but Jeremiah 29 and 11, it says, and this is the in NIV, it says, For the for I know the plans I have for you, declares Yahweh. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future, man. Also, that's that expected end, you know. So truly believe that the Lord brought us here to ultimately save us. Because he the only thing between us 
and salvation. And that's ultimately however his story is written. But let's go back to uh, where we were. I just wanted to get that to show. Look, have that faith that the Lord thoughts towards us is to save us, not to destroy us. You know, but Ephesians 2 and 10 again, it says, for we are his workmanship created in Mashiach unto good works. So he, we have to believe he created us to do these things, to do the works of the elect. Ultimately, so Lord willing, we are of the elect. And just like how was shall earn this crown, he's sending us down to do these things to earn our crown, man. And it says, created in Mashiach and Hawasha unto good works, which the Most High have before ordained that we should walk in them. And it's, if we walking in them, <laughs> then that's a good sign. That's a good sign, man. But remember, Yahweh said he that endureth unto the end, we have to continue walking in them. Like it said in Hebrews 10, that after we have done the work uh, of the Lord, you know. So we got to continue to push, you know. But let's let's get this real quick. And Philippians 1 again This Philippians 1 And I'm going to start at 6 again It says Now being confident of this very thing So going back to the point This is who we have to be confident in Being confident of this very thing That he Talking about the Heavenly Father That he Which have begun a good work in you We just read about how he created us to do good works right So it says that he Which have begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And that's ultimately our hope, man. Because although we don't know how the Heavenly Father got our story to end, we have to be confident. It says, I'm going to start from five again. It's, it's heavy. It says, for your fellowship and the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which have begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So what is this saying? That the heavenly father who allow us to begin going out on the highways and hedges to begin believing, reading, praying, calling on his name, Yahweh Shah name, doing lessons. Hey, he had begun us to do the, you know, keep the law, set commandments to the best of our abilities. We have to believe that he ain't just doing it for just a period of time and cast us, the, cast us away. It says, no, it says that he will. That he have begun a good work in you will perform it until the day you have a shot. Ultimately, that the Lord be confident that the Most High go allow us to do these things and endure until the end to be saved, man. <laughs> right? Come on, man. That's heavy. Uh, let's see what else it got. Yep. That's 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 it. You know. That's pretty much it, man. Um, but that's really all I wanted to touch on. I ain't really got too much precepts, you know, just meditating, you know, on my little lunch break. <laughs> Looking around, I was like, man, it's really only if we started on this path of salvation, nobody else could knock us off this path but the most high. It's the point. And if it's not his will to knock us off, let's get this. Let's end it off on this. If it's not his will to knock us off, then come on, man. You know? Remember, hey, Yahweh Shai ain't doubt the most high was dealing. We told you straight up, look, I'm the most high sent me. The apostles, when you read they 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 epistles, they open up and tell you, look. I'm a apostle of Yahweh Shai sent by the Most High. They told, they told you the, there was a servant of the Lord, man. Elijah, he ain't hesitate when when they said, you the man of God. He said, look, if I be a man of God, let fire come down and consume all you and your 50. They didn't doubt. I don't, I don't know. I don't know I'm a man of God. Man, look, another thing is, is humility. You know, it's humility, but we have to truly believe the Lord is dealing. We ain't doing all this on our own. That's the point. We can't do this on our own. You can't even open the Bible and understand it on your own. That proves the Heavenly Father got to be dealing. You know? But let's get this, though. This Romans 8. Just to prove further, look, nobody can't stop us from what we're doing if the Heavenly Father don't want us to stop. Nobody can't stop the elect from being the elect. This Romans 8. And I'm going to start at 29. It says, nope, I'm going to start at 28. It says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the most high. To them who are the called according to his purpose. All, remember, all things work good. It says what? To them that love the most high. And by us loving your high shy, that shows you love the most high. It says, and to them who are called according to his purpose. He called us to do stuff for him, man. To use us as vessels to push his word, to bring in his elect. It says, for whom he did foreknow, 
he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, so who the heavenly father chose in the beginning of the world to save, right? It says, to be as elect before the world's created, it says, for whom he did predestinate, then he also called. So look, he predestinated or chose the elect before the world was. Then when he sent them down to come into the earth, and our and Lord willing, we are that number in our reincarnations, reincarnation, right? As we on the earth, he called us. That's when he called us, because it was our Lord willing already called from the heavens. We just had to come down to be called, man. Just like Abraham. Abraham was already chosen, but he was called in the earth of the Chaldees. You know? Before Peter and, and Andrew, James and John was fishing, and Yahweh Shah told them, follow me, they was already called. They just had to come on the earth <laughs> to be, you know? Well, they was already chosen. They just had to come on the earth to be called to fulfill their lots, man, of the chosen. It says, moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, so when you came on earth and God called to the truth, it says, and whom he called, them he also justified, forgave, your sins forgiven. Just keep doing what I, I said now, or what he said now. It says, whom he also justified, and it's the last thing we're waiting on, and them he also glorified. That's the next step. That's the next step, man. Again, believe the Lord ain't just call us just because cause he was bored, ain't had nobody else. You know, ain't had nobody he was like, oh, I guess I'll call. No, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Believe the Lord called us for a purpose, man. Us, our households, whether we have children, so on and so forth. It says, um, right, verse 33. Nope, 31. What shall we say to these things? If the most high be for us, then who could be against us? Come on, man. If the most high be for us, then who could be against us? It says, Verse 30, uh, three, who shall lay anything to the charge of the most highest elect? It is the most high that justifieth again. It ain't nobody standing between us and salvation but the most high himself. And yeah, how was I, man? Because it's all up to them. That's why we have to give diligence. Because if the Lord would have just told us we're elect right now, a lot of time, a lot of lessons we did out of fear, we probably wouldn't have did it. Reading and studying and fasting and praying we did out of fear. And, you know, we probably wouldn't have did it because we would have had to mind, well, I'm already elect, you know, so it's all good. I can I can skip a lesson for the day. But the Lord ain't tell us because he wants us to give forth effort. And if he got us giving forth that effort, that's a that's a great sign, man. You know, willingly we we got we give an effort. That's all from the Lord putting in our spirit. But our hope is that He allows us to continue to do it until the end. But let's wrap it up. It says, "Who is He that con condemneth? It is Mashiach that died, yeah, rather that is risen, who is even at the right hand of the Most High, who also make up intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? That's the question. Who gonna separate us from this truth?" Right from doing what we're doing, believing in what we're believing in, like Peter said to Yahweh Shai when the other disciples walked away. Yahweh Shai asked the 12, He said, Will y'all leave me also? Peter said, Lord, where else we gonna go? You got the words of eternal life. We believe and are sure that you, the Son of the Heavenly Father, what else we gonna go and do or believe in? That's the same mind. What else we gonna go to do? We know America about to get destroyed. Ain't no career, ain't no life we can start. A happy family picket fence with the red dope. You know, come on, man. What other truth or God that could comfort us like the scriptures? Uh, stri scriptures can comfort us, man. What are the rewards or promises that this world could offer us that the heavenly Father offered? All we gotta do is say eternal life. You can't get over that. You can't offer more than eternal life. And that even ain't even mentioning what the what the Lord got for us to enjoy in that eternal life, man. So the point is, <laughs> the point is, if we doing this. Man, look, I know I've been saying the whole lesson, but that's the point of the lesson. You know? The Lord got us here for a reason, man. Lord, willing is to is to be in that chair with your high shy. Because what it's saying, Ezra's, Ezra's crown, uh, seeing those getting crowned who stood so stiffly for the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shine for this truth. What the Lord represent, being that monument of the Most High. Well, let's finish. It says, who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? Shall tribulation, right, the things we go through? It says our distress, our persecution, right? When we get demonized, put on the news, embarrassed. Should we say, all right, this is too much? 
It says our famine. You and Jacob shovel, we ain't eating two two days. You you Lord, you supposed to feed us. You now you get tired and you go to FEMA. No, even famine shouldn't separate us, man. We should trust in the Lord, looking for ravens in the sky like they can't feed Elijah. And you know, it says, Shall famine, show nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors. Through him that loved us, loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor man, he said he persuaded. He really believed this. He said, I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the most high. Which is in Mashiach Yahweh our Lord, man. So again, going back to that Philippians, being confident of this very thing that the Heavenly Father who have begun a good work in us, that He will perform it until the day of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Allow us to endure until the end doing this work so we could be saved and be the elect, man. That's the hope, man. That's the expectation. You know, the world ain't doing what we doing. The world ain't believing in what we believing in, man. So <laughs> you feel me? We got to be amongst the elect. Even the other camps, we have to be amongst the elect. And again, Lord willing, we are part of that number, but we have to be among, we got to watch them on the apostles and elders, you know, brothers around us in your camps. We have to be amongst these men. Nobody talking about what we talking about, breaking down the scriptures like we breaking them down. And it ain't us. Again, it's the Lord. Nobody is introducing your high side to the world like we are. Nobody's ushering in the Lord's second coming like we are, man. Establishing what the kingdom of heaven gonna be like, going into history, exposing the wicked as the scriptures say what's gonna happen before Yahweh Shah comes. So the point is, like it said in uh, Job 9 and 24, about the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. If not, then where and who are they? Well, look, if we ain't amongst the elect of uh, the apostles, you know, ain't been pushing the true truth, then please tell me where and who are they? Because I wanna I wanna get this truth so I get on the chair. So where and who are they, man? You know. But look, with that Lord willing, this lesson was out of fine. You know, just summon my spirit. I'm going to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rechak Wadash. A double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all Yahweh out there. Pushing this word with all truth and sincerity to all you believers out there who believe in on the gospel. And keep fighting and keep pushing. And with that, Shalom.